What is up there guys, it's Power 2000 here. I'm here with another preview, actually just previewed, uh, sup not Super Mario 64. Actually, I'm gonna upload this first. I'm gonna upload this video first, the Super Mario 64. But, one thing for note that, uh, <laughs> this is actually recorded already. Just my microphone just got muted for some reason. I don't know why it happened. I don't know what happened, but I just, I just, I, I, I did not, for some reason, I did not unmute my microphone from last episode, the, uh, yesterday, <laughs> from the stream that I just did for Super Mario Odyssey, <laughs> my bad, so, yeah, I'm just gonna review Super Mario 64 episode 2 that I just did, and this guy did behind me, literally this guy, <laughs> I I just reviewed the uh, Ninja season two, so but I'm gonna record the I'm gonna upload this Super Mario sixty four video first, and then I I will upload Ninjala. So if you're watching this, I just reviewed Ninjala, and my mouth is tired. So I'm just gonna skip to right to the actual start. And by the way, I'm just uh, show you guys the Ninjala uh, Sonic collaboration, and Kirby Fighters two. I'm not gonna be buying that anytime soon. But I'll be probably be playing Kirby Star Ally, so ring the bell button to be actually get notified. Speaking of ring the bell button, rush the bell button, subscribe, ring the bell button, yeah, ring the bell button <laughs> to actually get notified from every single one of my videos that's gonna come out in the future. Re leave it a comment below. Do you have an easy time playing Super Mario 64? Actually, not. Trust me. Oh my goodness. I was actually showcasing like how do I even do that stuff like this stuff. Look at me doing that. Look at me doing this. That's because I'm using my tablet just to get open YouTube, find a YouTuber, literally not YouTuber, not not some YouTuber. I'm just gonna search for Abdullah Special to six just to look at him, how to play, all that stuff, blah blah blah. <laughs> and yeah, just gonna open YouTube and just go from there. I'm just gonna get straight to it. I went to the wrong door and went back to the door with Bomb on Battlefield, so my bad. And the door to the actual next one should be this one. The one with the one star. The, the star number one. I have seven stars then, back then. I act to the door and next next stage. Womb Fortress. Womb's Fortress. Whatever. Womb's Fortress. Chip off Womb's Block. I'm just gonna skip just because I died and sometimes. Not why do I not read this? Uh, okay, uh, let me see. Okay, let me read that for you. So literally, hello, the Lakitu bro, Lakitu bros, cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn the technique for sneaking up on enemies. Yeah, the trick is this: he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. Yeah, I know that. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier. You can take a look around by tilting the rec stick, pull rec stick to back view the action from distance. Yes, I know that. Uh, when you can't move the camera any farther, the buzzer will sound. This is like a two brothers signing off, and yeah, that's the only way how to kill piranha plants. Just literally walk slowly and smack it. But apparently, there's another way to kill it. Which is kind of funny to me. I'm sleepy because I'm sleepy. I don't like being disturbed. Please walk quietly. Who cares, man? So I literally try to adjust the camera and try to walk slowly. I was trying to walk slowly, but the camera angle is very wonky. And by the way, this is pretty funny. I did not press the B. I press B button to jump. Literally to jump. But I, I killed it. I was supposed to press the Y button or X, but I literally pressed B to kill that piranha plant. Would you look at that? <laughs> you would have known that by many years ago. Have you ever realized that? I'm just gonna skip. Just because I died, actually. Yes, I did die. I lost one life, see? I'm just gonna get straight to it. You'll probably already know the stage, so I'm just gonna skip this much. 
You probably already know some of the stage and piranha plants do gave you five coins the blue coins are literally five coins i don't need to come down there just because there's no need for it next i uh, i was trying to search for the uh one warping point that i could warp but i don't know where it is i'm just trying to kill this one dude and shabam dead Trying to get a one red coin, but it's not even a hundred coin challenge. So what do I even do that for? <laughs> no point, right? And I fell down just to get that one five coin blue coin. I'm just gonna skip through that all that crap, and I just run straight to it and just kill that brown plant like nobody's business. <laughs> and that's a good thing to know that you can actually run through that brown plant just to kill it. Uh, before anything happens to my screen screen, I better take a look at it. Right behind me. The, the wa washing machine is literally below me. It's literally bumping to my feet. Yeah, so ignore all well, the buzzing noise just because it's literally a washing machine. Not washing machine. Cleaning machine. A, a cleaning vacuum machine. Crap, crap, crap. Don't need tear. Don't touch that. Where? Ah! Anyway, I was trying to look at the warp point. I thought this one was, but I kind of figured it out out of nowhere. So I was trying to find a point that I could warp to, but yeah, somehow I don't know. I just try to climb up and just get myself a one up. <laughs> well, back at full one up again. Back to four lives. And one thing I've realized about something I was just trying to read a sign, probably reading a sign just to get me that warp point, but I encountered that warp point that I could just do this, just go to that corner with that thwomp, and you warp yourself to that flat pole, not flat pole pole. Well, that was an easy way to fast travel, right? Yes, I don't need to work so hard for that. And all right, so next one should be the uh, boss fight against this big, th big wom, not thwomp, wom. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castle, we pave your roads, and still walk all over us. Uh, do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Oh. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, wimp. Ha. Yeah, right. So basically, simple, just like original concept, just gotta jump on his back and just ground bomb. Be careful not to go too much. Like, go to the front part of it and you're gonna be blown back. So make sure that you actually, actually go on his back, but make sure that you literally have to be on his back. No crushed again, I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. And he just blow up and just gave me a power star. Yeah, that was an easy star, easier than uh, Baba Battlefield. Like literally, Baba Battlefield is just a nightmare of walking. Oh, could you imagine that? Anyway, chip off one block, and next star should be uh, the to the top of the fortress. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through all that. Basically, all you need to do is literally go back to the top. To go back to the top of the, the one with the, uh, to the top where the one bus is located, but there's this tower. Which is pretty annoying that I would say, not technically, if you're jumping correctly, but I hassled. I hassled, yeah, I hassled and I literally fell off. Like, take a look at it right now. Like how much of a fool I am to fall off like this. See? Like depth perception, please. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, well, I'm just gonna do that and yeah. This last one should go up and I'll get that power star. How do you even get to that power star in that uh, ch not chain cage? I'll show you guys later, but it's kind of difficult to get 
I got that next power star that leads me to nine. To the top fortress. That's nine power stars. Next one is uh shooting to the wild blue. Okay, this one is kinda neat. This one requires you to act ask the pink bar bomb to activate the cannon. But using the cannon is somehow risky, you could actually potentially fall off. Fall off stage. Come on. Green screen. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I saw, I heard clacking, and who was not under my green screen hole that just got hit by a machine. Uh, continuing on, so yeah, you can use the cannons, but there's a risky chance that you will fall off. So I give you guys a pro tip how to do this. So basically, you got a side somersault, and after that side somersault, just wall jump it's just that's the pro tip that i just learned from a dollar smash okay i'm really worried now and yeah that's the pro strats let's do that and we got that shoot into the wild blue and boom uh what was that uh, next one uh red coins on the floating aisle Ugh. okay hold on This thing is literally making a scene out of me, and this is making an embarrassment. Whew. How long have I been doing that shenanigan? <laughs> 13 minutes of that shenanigans. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna stop that machine there. Red coins on the floating aisle. You saw some red coins before. I did. So let's just come here. That's not the one. I got that red coin. So let's just watch. So I got the uh, red coins and I accidentally fall down like an idiot. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do that just to get in hot, just to get easy like that. I don't wanna go th through all the hassle. Oof, that happened. That was, was that the first one I think? Uh, it should be. That was first. Second, I uh, actually did that. It was kinda hard for me to do, but I got it, actually. Uh, second, first of all, I got crushed. Second of all, yes, I backwards somersault and got that second one. And next up is easy. You just gotta run into that piranha plant and let literally run off like that, like an idiot, and just scram. Just run, just just go to him and just press Y just to smack him easily. That's honestly that's how you kill piranha plants real quick. I almost fall down, but, and by the way, yeah, uh, where is it, there's the next red coin that I just got, and might as well just skip that, and get that other one also, just got a way right here, that product plant is still alive though, but I'm, 
and get a one up no need i'm just gonna get that red coin i have to jump just because that i might miss it i'm just gonna skip so back here again there's nothing down there just because i'm checking if there's any some of some of them down there but no there's none i was also trying to collect 100 coins I still have 83 coins. 88. So another thing. The last two coins and some of the last two red coins are there and getting some more normal coins to get 100 coins. Literally just like that. Just by doing this and yeah, I'm just gonna walk slowly. <laughs> and that should lead me to a... Uh, 96 four more and get that need two more I should have just gone for that uh, red red coin and just be done with this without using Without doing all these yellow ones like, Trust me that would be a lot easier and I got that power star And up to the next one that I do not want to risk so I actually managed to get back up there and just uh press Y and just press uh, press jump and Y and just slide off like that almost slide off the stage not stay slide off the floating aisle and just save myself I save myself from actually falling ricochet and got that power star and red coins floating in the aisle on the floating aisle next one should be uh Fall into the cage island. That, this one is the one annoying. Anyway, you have to do this. First of all, what you want to do is climb on this tree. And an owl will literally pop out. Out of nowhere. Who's there? Who wake me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Yeah, I know. Hey, as long as I am awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press and hold B to grab on. Release B to let go. Learn the most annoying one of all. I'll take I'll take you whenever you want to go. As long as my wings hold out, watch my shadow and grab on. I honestly, this is the most hardest part. Like I literally grab on a B and then just absolutely did absolutely nothing. And it just took me somewhere. I did not realize that I probably could have uh, used my left stick to move the owl, but I managed, apparently just did that all to die. I'm just gonna skip right to the part where I get it. Uh, this could take a while. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I kind of screwed that up again. Okay. I succeeded on that just because I could have just used the left stick to move. But it's tricky and I have to look at my shadow. Just because I might have missed it. Luckily, I managed to get it. I don't know, is it RNG or left stick? I don't know, I'll leave it in the comments. Fall into the cage island. Next up is Blast the Wade Wall. This one is pretty easy and I like this one. This is how to use the cannon. And you have to shoot these walls. Wall one. Oh, that actually um hold on uh you actually not only that hold on you actually need to blast two walls the first wall destroy actually i don't know you don't need to destroy i don't i think you only need to destroy that one wall at the back probably just to destroy that first the wall nearest to the cannons probably just to make it open blast to this wall to activate the power star. Literally, I saw that power star. I actually watched Abdallah Smash doing that. <laughs> and I just finally got that power star. Camera still off? Yes, it is. Yeah, there's the star. Alright, so getting that star. Actually, I actually have to use the cannon. Just because I'm too lazy to get up there. But it's risky, but I, I'm i gonna do it. And I managed to get it. Eh. Yep, that was pretty easy. That was an easy start. I like that start a lot. And number what? 
And that's all the star. That's every single one of them. And then, once I went back, I exit the course. I exit course. Exit course, that means that you go back to the sundial, but the sundial was l flashing. And you know what that means. Wing cap course. Ooh, welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. I don't like this at all. When you trigger the switch, all of the red blocks we will find become solid. Try out the wing cap. Do triple jump to take off and then press the L to land. Wing cap sucks. Pull back on the L stick to go up and tilt forward to nose down. Just as you would when flying on an airplane. This is way harder than flying an airplane, man. Like, the controls are so wonky. I'm not even pressing anything. The controls are directly going up and down, up and down, and it's so hard to turn left and right. But at least you don't lose a life. That's good enough. I'm just gonna skip right to the one that I pushed the switch. Anyway, I just had to ground pound, although it still hurts of ricochet heights. You step under the wing cap switch, wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Now wing caps will pop out of all the red blocks you find. Would you like to save? Yes. Because I did. And then, but no, don't even look at my embarrassment. Oh, okay. Let me just skip right through that. Like, it was an embarrassment already. Let me just see this one. Oh, this should be the one that I don't embarrass myself. I'm trying to control myself, but it's so hard to turn. Like, sometimes you have to turn, but you have to go up? Oh, that's so bad. Update, please fix the controls, man. It sucks. I missed those two points. And yeah, I literally died. That's one of the casualties that I did. <laughs> Back to the sundial and try it out again. That's literally the this is literally the worst power star that I've ever done. I will never do this course ever again. Trust me. I don't like wing cap anymore. I thought wing cap was cool, but now when I experience it, no it's not. <laughs> try to control up and down, up and down like that. See I missed that. I had to kill myself how many times for that? I just gonna run wanna go all around for Two hours. No. Keep it as one hour as possible. I guess that's the case. Anyway, try this again. Last chance, right? I think this is the last one I'm gonna do. Anyway, try to focus on turning. Turning is so bad. Because of the vibration will... Like, my controller would vibrate and it will scare me every time... Mario goes up like that and I miss those two coins down there but you know what it's just only two points and I'm just gonna fall on like that and take two damage off like that and I press accidentally press minus and I'm just gonna and yeah wing cap does have limits I've remembered that I've remembered that and red block spawns out that here we go literally hate that Anyway, with that being said, I'm done. Never doing wing cap course ever again. Controls, please update that. Cameras, also update that. So it's like, Odyssey! It was so much better. I literally shouted. That's one of the castle's secret star. This is nice. Save and continue. Might as well just get some more secret stars just because I have enough stars to actually go to another secret star. Should be uh, right here. You come upstairs. Uh, there, the one with the one, number one. I could have done that earlier, but no. I could have done that off screen, but no. Could have been updated, but they say no, keep it. Because the wing cap really does suck, and it will keep it like that. That's what Nintendo said. And I promise you that, I hate you. <laughs> that sucks. And this is kind of fun, it's kind of simpler than that one just now. 
Yeah, sliding. This is another reason why I quit on 64. I returned, but because of this, I quit again. Actually, there's another reason. Before this reason that I quit 64, just because of the control scheme are so hard. Moving Mario, not moving Yoshi is already hard as possible. It's already heavy, slippery, not responsive. Oh. It just so happens to be annoying. One of the castle secret star. There's another one, right? This is the exact same room. But you have to do it within 20 seconds. 20 seconds. And I just realized this one shortcut that I saw from Abdallah. Uh, if I can get this one correctly though. Is it this one though? You're supposed to actually uh, not jump from that one. Not jump from this one. Don't don't look at me like that. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, this one. You jump from this corner and you and I just literally uh want to grandpa, but I literally press Y by accident. And yeah, and we got that within twenty seconds. We got that eighteen seconds by and three milliseconds. And it got bumped up like that. So that's a pretty interesting one. You know that shortcut more than I do. I had to look up on YouTube to get that one. Anyway, I'm just, yeah, giving up at this point. <laughs> and I save and quit. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Super Mario 64. So thanks for watching, guys. This review has been pretty awesome. It's not fun to review. Once you already play this game, you have to wait more time than this. Anyways, guys, rush to like and subscribe, ring the bell button to get notified my upcoming videos. Leave in the comments below if it is easy to play Super Mario 64. If it's not easy, should Nintendo really update their control scheme for Super Mario 64, just like Super Mario Odyssey scheme? Like, I really do agree with that. And I just have to skip that to us. Uh, yeah, whatever. As for Belling Bowser, we all know we all know that. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time on Super Mario 64 3D All-Star 64. So, here we go. Goodbye.